Uh, we can actually uh, go uh, to the headquarters of uh, Marine Le Pen. Alison Sargent is uh, with uh, some of her supporters, I believe. Alison? That's right, Mark. A very festive atmosphere here. A uh, champagne cork just popped behind me. They've started serving drinks. Uh, supporters are starting to come in. We're expecting uh, equal parts journalists and supporters tonight. About 500 supporters, 500 journalists. About half of the room is also taken up by cameras. So lots of supporters starting to celebrate with champagne glasses, uh, but also many journalists around uh, keeping track of them. Whatever happens tonight, whether or not Marine Le Pen wins, uh, this is expected to be a historic night uh, for her party. Uh, it's also a mixed crowd. Out here in terms of age. Uh, we spoke to some young voters, about 18 and 19, who were voting for the first time. I noticed a lot of the young voters are very well dressed, reminded me quite a bit of the crowd that I saw uh, at Eric Zemmour's headquarters uh, two weeks ago. Uh, but we've also been speaking to a lot of older members, uh, traditional members of Marine Le Pen's party uh, who voted for her, uh, who voted for her father. Uh, one of them, uh, we spoke to him, he came, he drove his motorcycle from the southern suburbs where he's from. Uh, he said that he felt like Marine Le Pen uh, did a very good campaign, sort of cast off her shell and really showed her true uh, gentle nature in his words. Uh, he also was wearing a pin uh, from the Republican Party of the United States. He told me he felt like he saw a lot of parallels between Marine Le Pen's party uh, and the Republican Party of Donald Trump and Ronald Reagan uh, in terms of patriotism, in terms of his, his words, uh, looking out for the little guy. Uh, he told me that he is feeling quite anxious tonight, uh, as many supporters are, but they're also uh, very, very optimistic. Alison Sargent, thank you.